Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this Justice League Batman figure, and it is Batman, uh, the tactical suit Batman from Hot Toys, and uh, there's the box, so let's get into it. Alright, so here's the figure, let's go for the accessories first. Uh, we have the base, the Justice League base, and then uh, over here we got goggles. Here's one pair, right there. This set is the one that covers the eyes. And then the one he has on right now is the over the forehead set. And then here are the two pieces that goes uh, over those sections when you don't have the glasses on. And then uh, this tool here is to switch out the eyes. Then we got a bunch of hands. And uh, here are the eyes. Let's see if I can focus in on them. There you go, you get a pair of uh, looking at the left, a pair of looking straight, and then a pair of looking towards the right. And then we have uh, three mouthpieces, one is close, one is uh, slightly open, and one is uh, angry. And then here's the tray with uh, all the other accessories. We have the grapnel gun with uh, the lines. Uh, this one is uh, with the straight line. It's made out of metal. And this one has a wiggly line. That's uh, when it's being shot out. And then here are three others. Those hooks. And then three batarangs. Then I guess these are bombs. And then the line gun. And pegs. And that's the grapnel gun. Close look at that. There you go. Really nice. And the line gun. I believe we already got these accessories from um, regular Justice League, uh, regular uh, Donna Justice Batman figure. This one, the line gun, I think it came with the um, the armor Batman. And this one, of course, every uh, Ben Affleck Batman comes with this. Grab no gun. Alright, so now that we got all the accessories out of the way, let's take a look at the figure itself. Here's the Batman figure. Uh, likeness, I don't really know. I don't think it looks like Ben Affleck at all. Um, but the cow is different and it's very ugly cow. Uh, I don't like this cow at all. I wasn't a fan of the goggles either. But uh, once they're on, they're okay. And then the mouthpiece, uh, I think one of the mouthpiece looks really, really weird. This one's okay. Uh, the the mouth section uh, versus the nose section, uh, the distance between the mouth and the nose, it's okay. But I think the second one, when his, his lips are open a little bit, I think that one, or is it this one? That's really weird. And uh, here's the second mouthpiece. Um, I think this one is the weirdest. Uh, the distance between the top lip and the nose seems to be a little uh, longer than uh, all the other mouths, mouthpieces. So uh, it looks a little weird. I'm not sure. It could just be me. I mean, and uh, I took the goggles off. And you can see there's a hole right there. And then that's when you plug in the other piece. Uh, this piece right here, this piece right there, and here you see with the pieces back on, and yeah, this mouthpiece is the most unattractive one, I think, in my opinion, and then there's the rest of him, and uh, here's the cape, I want to show the cape, it's really nice. Um, here you can see it expands out all the way and then there's a, a little bit of pattern on it. Uh, it's kind of, it's I guess it's supposed to resemble uh, a weathering effect. It looks really nice, I like it a lot. And then uh, I guess so. Flip this over, then he looks like this. So that's when he is in a standing pose. Zoom out a little bit, yikes. Camera back. Okay, focus. Push this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, not liking the the likeness to Ben Affleck at all. 
but uh, still a uh, pretty decent looking Batman. Oh, and then uh, when you want to switch out the the mouth or the eye pieces, all you have to do is pop this cowl right off, and it comes right off like that. And then here, bottom, you can see there's that slot. And then if you want to remove the eyes, use this tool, dig in there, just slide that tool in. And then you can just pop, and then the eyes will come right out. As opposed to, they're stuck in there. Give me a second. And here's the cow without the eyes. And uh, I find taking out the mouthpiece quite um, weird. Because there's nothing for you to poke through. Uh, there's a metal plate back here. So all you have to do is just shake it until it comes out. And then it will fall off. It will fall right, right off. See, there's no peg hole right there for you to um, punch the mouthpiece out, unlike other Batmans that we have gotten. And here's the angry mouth. I think the angry mouth is actually the best of the three. So here I'm going to uh, pop in the, uh, the regular eyes. There we go. There's the regular cow with the regular eyes and the angry mouth so I'm gonna pop this back oh you know what what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, no I'll just pop this back on first and just right there like that pull the cape back and there you go really good looking Batman and uh, as far as articulation I'm not even gonna go uh, I'm not going to go that in deep into articulation because uh, they're all the same. Almost all the hot toys are the same as far as articulation. But uh, as for Batman, I mean, arms could go out about that much. So quite, quite a lot because the undersuit is a um, softer type of material. And uh, I believe all the... I want to say all the Ben Affleck Batman uses the same undersuit, so that's good. And then these pieces are all removable. Uh, the, the bicep piece, uh, this here, along with the shoulder pad, this is all one piece. And then uh, these can slide off, but uh, the body, uh, the forearm is so thick that it won't go through. But the forearm section, uh, the gauntlets, are removable. And then the belt is, uh, eh, you could adjust it if you really want to. Because uh, sometimes it it just sits really low or sits really high, and then you could adjust it and uh, shift it a little bit till you see fit. So as far as the uh, abdominal section, there's pretty much no articulation whatsoever because he is such a bulky character. And then uh, this this piece here, it's all this chest piece is all one piece. And then oh, and uh, we'll show you guys the back. You know what? Let me take the take the cow off. And then I will take the cape off. Can I take the cape off? No, I cannot. Shoot. Never mind then. I'll just go show you like this. So here's the zipper. Uh, you could actually undo this whole suit if you really want to, but I'm not going to do that because uh, it's not meant for me to do that. But uh, it is possible for you to do it if you really want to because I think previous, uh, previous versions of uh, these Batman could all, could all do it. Uh, except for the older ones like the the Christian Bale or the um, Michael Keaton's, those are all kind of rubber suit that's sealed. And uh, this one, there's actually a zipper, so you could actually undo it and then take it all off. I guess if you really want to, or when you if you if someone it's good enough to do custom jobs, then I guess they might want to do that. But for me, no. And as far as the legs, uh, this piece, this here, does dig into his uh, his waist quite a bit, so I wouldn't really force it too much. I mean, he could bend about about that, and this piece is not digging to it just yet. And uh, knees could bend over ninety degrees, a little over ninety, and the ankles are on a on a ball joint, so it does have a little bit of range yeah so quite nice so here's a close look close up of uh, 
the cowl. Looks really good. Oh, let me put the goggles on him. And there he is with the goggles on. Uh, before I wasn't really a fan, but uh, actually I am okay with how he looks now with the goggles on. And uh, let's just get a closer look at the rest of him. Just a chest plate. Really nice. And I believe the belt is exactly the same as the Dawn of Justice uh, Batman belt. The thigh pieces. Knee pads. Shin guards. Mm -hmm. Shoes. There's the Justice League emblem. And uh, you guys can't really see, but there's the Batman emblem right there. And here's a comparison with all four of the Ben Affleck Batmans that I have. And uh, from the left, of course, that's the Armor Batman. Second is the Dawn of Justice Batman. And then the Tactical Suit Batman from Justice League. And then also Dawn of Justice um, Nightmare Batman. That's by far the, my favorite, the Nightmare. And then the armor, and then uh, I guess uh, the regular, or oh, the tactical, I'm not sure. Not sure which one's my third and which one's last. But here are all four of them. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.